what is up everyone welcome back to another brand new toy review definitely not a brand new figure but since the movie is coming out i want to take the time and look at this figure because i absolutely love this figure it's one of my favorites in my collection and thanks to my amazing girlfriend she got this for me and i told her not to but she did anyways but that being said, it definitely holds a nice special place in my heart. But I freaking love this guy because I have been waiting to get this guy. I definitely did want the rest of them, but they're a lot of money. And I really don't think I want to spend like, I forgot, like 200 on the biggest one. But with all that being said, we're going to look at this guy. And this is the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. I freaking love love this thing to death and I this guy is definitely like a year old since I've gotten him he has been on my Godzilla shelf for like pretty much that amount of time not like that long I definitely have cleaned off the shelf moved him around as I say I was picking little dust off of him but love this guy look how amazing he looks on camera I did not oh my gosh I love this guy um there is the past. I would love pretty much all the Godzilla from the Legendary movies because I love those movies to death. Um, I would also love King Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra, and Kong that's coming out, which I just saw. But I probably might get him, just Kong, and that's it. Um, and then maybe go back, get Rodan and, Ro and Mothra. And if they ever just remade a King Ghidorah from... King of the Monsters to make them just a little bit more better because I think what we got was kind of just like a mustard looking lack of detail mouth can't really open that wide of uh, King Ghidorah which kind of disappointed me because I wanted that figure so much to go with my SH Monster Arts Godzilla but I think just him alone is amazing so Let's take a look at this figure and let's look at his, all his detailing and let's get right into it. So first of all, I want to mention just how he he's definitely got some heft to him. Mainly because, I mean, this is a really nice uh, figure. Uh, he definitely has a lot of joints. His He's definitely a sharp guy. Like, he definitely has a nice rough skin. And his freaking spikes are just like... If you grab this thing, like, it's gonna hurt, like, a lot. His tail is probably, like, it's huge. Like, he's got a big boy tail. Um, there's a lot of ball joints. Pay no attention to the dust that's flying off of him. I thought I cleaned you. Uh, he's definitely a big boy. Uh, he's got some nice tail posability. Which I do love. Uh, you can't really stand his tail. Kind of like where you want it. But I do like leaving it at a nice little curve. Just kind of like that. Or something like that. But just a nice little curve. Maybe have it up just a bit. And it's definitely nice. Um, but yeah. It's pretty nice. Pretty much like there's ball joints. All along here to give it all that posability. Except right here at the little tip where it's kind of just one piece with these with this last part right here. Um, he's definitely has a lot of posability. He's definitely got some. He's got like a waist swivel. Um, his head can pretty much go up, down, side to side. His mouth can go open and close. Uh, his arms can pretty much rotate. I don't think you can go through full 360, but it's definitely nice. You can definitely kind of... Okay, that's just the rotation, but you can't really do too much with that. Um, I think he's got a double joint at his elbow. He's got a nice little um, wrist swivel. And I think, yeah, that can swivel too. He's definitely got some rotation on all of his, all three of these joints right here. Um, and his arm can go up and down. 
Uh, same with the other side too. His legs, I do believe, can do a full 360. Yeah, there we go. And he's got some knee posability. About right there. His foot can pretty much wiggle and give a nice pivot. So you can get him in a nice little battle stance if you want to. Um, he is definitely... I don't... I just... The look of him is beautiful. I love the look of him. Um, oh my gosh, just that alone is really nice. Um, his posability is definitely nice. It's definitely really good. Um, I'm not sure if I really have any complaints. I think the only complaint I would have with him is kind of just the tail. Um, I mean, I wish it could kind of like... I mean, it's... I think it's probably impossible, but, like, to have it twist pretty much a little bit farther, I think would be cool. But I think that's just a lot to go for. Um, but, yeah, I do love this figure. I think the new one is definitely cool, too. I love kind of the same color, but the spikes are a little blue. I think the mouth does look off with its blue, but... This, this guy is just amazing. Um, but who knows? I might, maybe, possibly, might pick that guy up. There's definitely so many other SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures that I would so love to have, like the Biolantia, but I'm definitely not paying $200 for that guy. I wish I did. I wish I did have the money. I wish I was just rich, but... I mean, that probably won't happen for a very long time, or never. But I'm fine with. I'm still happy I can get these, like, kind of cheaper ones. But, uh, let's take a look at his detailing real quick. Actually, let's look at his accessories. So he does come with some accessories. He's come with this other jaw piece. This bottom jaw with, like, this, um, with his atomic breath kind of sticking out. And he also comes with his atomic breath. Love how detailed this is. Um, I love the blue to it. I love kind of like these kind of white highlights to it. Um, and I also noticed that there is a little hole right here. I don't know if you could see that, but there's a hole right there where you can kind of just stand them up and you can have them kind of just like so. But I don't have any stands for that. But pretty dope getting the jaw off is definitely kind of a pain in my opinion um his jaw is definitely kind of just in there when you pop it off um it's kind of hard to get back on to be honest but you pretty much just gotta wiggle it out as best you can until it pops off, which I'm going to do that off camera so we can look at this accessory real quick. That was definitely a pain to get him like that, but there it is with the new piece in his mouth. It definitely does look really nice. I love the way it looks. And with this kind of like ab crunchiness to it, you can, and the way his head goes up that high, you can pretty much just recreate that one scene from. Godzilla King of the Monsters where he looks up when he's in the middle of the ocean pretty much just have him like this definitely really cool I don't have a stand so I'm gonna have to use my finger um it definitely can stay on its own uh if you really work with it a bit um but there is a problem with it that I've kind of figured out is that it does bend it doesn't feel like it stays up straight that well it's definitely really hard because the weight of it it can stay on its own as you can see here it can stay on its own and that shot is just amazing you can't really have his head all the way up because it just brings it right back down because of the weight of it. Um, but I think if you did have it in this pose, 
you could definitely make it bend to where it's just going to flop right out of his mouth. But that is amazing looking. I love the way that looks. It's just super cool to see that. And that is beautiful right there. I love that. Oh, I love this figure so much. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. I think he's probably like my number one. I don't know what my number two would be, but maybe in a future video I'll like look at every my all my favorites in the favorite in a future video. If I just take that one off. And it's gonna be a pain to put that on, but let's kind of look at the inside of his mouth real quick. So you kind of see that there is some detail, really nice detail. You definitely kind of move his tongue up and down. You can't really see it that well, but it's definitely nice and red. What well, if I turn this off? Could you see the red a bit more? Yeah, you can kind of see it a bit more, but definitely some nice little detailings in his uh, little mouth. So I'm going to turn that back on. This is honestly kind of like freaky right here, just seeing him like that. <laughs> but I'm going to put that back on and we're going to look at his detailing. I am definitely a huge fan of this figure, and I'm so glad I was able to get him. But there is definitely one thing that bothers me through this entire figure. The paintbrush, like the nice paint job, is amazing with this guy. I love just all the dry brushing. I love the color. I love the feel. I definitely love those spikes. Those spikes are nicely made. I think the one thing I do not like is his face now I know other copies do not have this which I'm so happy for him but this is probably like his best view right here just with that nice looking just that nice detailing right there where it's looking pretty much right at you when he's looking at you um but with the other eye it's kind of a different story it's nicely painted, but it's just, it looks off so much, and it's such a shame, but this is definitely his best profile view right here, and I try to display him like this, so he definitely has this nice side showing, but he is a pretty big boy, not really too big, um, just all the detailing, all the nice little scale marks all his paint job everything just looks super nice the way he feels is pretty nice too um but yeah he's definitely a big boy there are little gaps here but they don't really bother me as much and there's also this little loose part right here but i mean that really doesn't bother me that much but i do think this is my favorite figure in my collection that's my light I do wish I kept the box though because the box is definitely a really nice looking box um but I did not because I was not that too fond of collecting boxes at the time but it's definitely a nice little place to store your figures especially if you ever plan to move out <laughs> but um he is definitely really nice and sorry for the dust I thought I cleaned this guy off but they just keep coming back I don't know why probably because it's dust but anyways this guy is really nice I so love this figure if you are a Godzilla fan I would definitely wait for another review for the Kong versus Godzilla of uh, Godzilla figure and see like if this one is not as good as the new one because I know the 2014 version was nice but this one definitely I think topped it off to make it look a little more movie accurate which is what I love I love the design for Godzilla in this video in the movie but I'm super excited for Kong vs Godzilla and I am glad I got to take a look at this guy and have this guy in my collection. So, if you guys think I should get Kong, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, 
I would definitely just recommend anything that you would want me to review in the future, probably, because I can't just be spending money on a bunch of crap. But if there's anything you want me to review, definitely uh, check that out. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next toy review. See you guys later.